Hello again, guys. It's Jonathan Dangles here with the uh, finished 55 cameo and the uh, 90. Oh, I forgot what year it is. F250. Start out with the cameo. Did it uh completely different than I thought I was gonna do it. So let's take a look at it. Here we go, it's a cameo pickup truck. Very nice looking truck. Got a uh, blacked out rims that are actually really on One on here. A USA decal. Well, it just adds a little more racing look. Uh, some sick uh, Magnaflow exhaust going on back here. In the front, looks good. Really same as it did before. Hood. Got another USA sticker. Looks pretty cool. That's where all the magic happens under the hood. This is a nice looking engine right here. So we got a nice tank and we got a battery down here. And we got some uh, tubes, pipes, whatnot going along here. And uh, another air intake here. And we got the wires going to spark plugs and whatnot, and we got the got the engine and everything. Sorry, I'm really tired. This is the engine. Looks a lot better in person, just so you know. Not just making excuses. But yeah, I think I'll leave that off for now. And you guys saw the interior, it's the same as before, no changes. Back we got a picture, Picture. it's a cross with the American flag around it. That was off, the, all these decals are off the, uh, the Chevy Bigfoot monster truck, but I did that custom, so I had leftover decals, so used all those. Then on the bottom, like I said before, not much detailing. Uh, drive shaft is, uh, that snapped, so I couldn't really use that. We got a cord going back here. Amped to the battery. Amps back behind the seat, running up to the battery. Just a quick fit on this baby. I don't know what I'm going to do with the back. I don't know if I'm going to leave it open or what. But so far, what I know, it's finished. I don't know. I think it looks pretty nice. Other people disagree, but who cares about what they say? And let's move on to the what a lot of people have been waiting for: the finished F two fifty. There it is in all of its glory with the trailer and stuff. So that's. Put this down and get the trailer off. Let's go check it out. Starting with the front corner, we got a same front that we did before. I did not put a license plate on it yet. Uh, I don't have a decal for a license plate yet, so I'm gonna hold off for that. Uh, Got the same international wheels that we had before, so my truck wheels. And decal, it's pretty blurry, so you can't really read it. This says F-250 Super Duty. And on the side, I finally got the door handles on. That took me forever. I don't know why I kept forgetting. Then on the inside, got a nice uh, Alpine touchscreen head unit in there. The wire running to under the hood for that battery and you can see there's an amp some subs back there uh, if I can get a better view from back here can't really tell there's there's another sub that over there yeah. and I got the finally got the lights on the top I blacked them out thought it looked a lot better because orange on orange truck that looked pretty clear so I'm going on we got uh, the hooker's header, hooker header 
sticker on it like I did before. And then this is a new addition. I got a stack on it instead of a dual exhaust. And on the back here, same setup except for the for the uh, electric brakes and stuff. The wire set up here for the trailer. Hooked up to there. It's looking about the same as it did before, just a little detailing. The engine, there's a lot of work I did. Hold on. Engine, a lot of work got done. Got a lot, a lot of wiring going to here. Got the wiring from the head unit coming through here to the batteries. Got dual batteries. Extra sound system kick. Got a, like I said, all the wiring going there. Got a fan back here, extra just in case it overheats. Cause you know, heavy duty truck hauling a lot of trailer and it's gonna heat up real fast. Uh. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine wires going through there. That took a lot of work. Took a lot of time too. This is actually a bent I bent an axle and it looks like a like a rod or something going through there. And that's the engine. It's mostly what I've been working on. That took a couple days. Just to make sure everything dried and went in place correctly. And then we got the window wipers I put. Everybody has them down, but I decided to put them up as so if they're in action. This one's sagging a little bit. He's a slow one. But, uh, yep, yeah, that's the F-250. I'll just demonstrate for you guys real fast how to put this on the trailer. I think I did in an earlier video, but who cares? So first off, take the trailer, move it onto there, be very gentle. Hear it click in. And then just pick that up. There you go. That's the F-250. All of its glory. All of its big hauling glory. PT Cruiser that's junked. Jeep Wrangler junked. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll get back to you later with more updates or new models or anything exciting. Peace out.